Hello, I'm Shirley Gonski, and I am a longtime user and big time fan of the Bernina embroidery software, Designer Plus, um, for digitizing embroidery. Um, I'm using version 8, it's the most recent version, and I am going to, in this tutorial, I'm going to cover a new feature of the auto digitizing um, menu. I'm a member of a Facebook group um, where we were discussing uh, the um, color photo stitch feature of version 8, and I had clipped the background out of my um, example, and someone said, I'd like to know how to do that. Well, you're going to be so surprised at how easy it is. I'm going to start a new file and I'm going to save it. I'm going to use my little dog as a model, so I'm going to save it as his name. Now I'm going to insert the artwork. So I have a photograph of him. Then I'm going to use the second tool right under the Insert Artwork tool is crop the background. Now, cropping the background isn't um, possible unless you use one of these templates um, for the cropping template. And so I'm going to use the elliptical one because I have to modify it afterward. But I think that with the ellipse, I will be able to more closely line up to the, so the shape of my puppy. So now that I drew the ellipse on there, um, you can see that most of the background is hidden by the mask. If I click on the uh, reshape, reshape tool, um, I can reshape this object just like any object I had created in um, the software. So I can just click and add points where I need them and relocate the points to pull the shape of the mask out to where it is the shape of the puppy. Now I can also um, make my points just like any any time I'm digitizing on the Bernina software. If I want a smooth, rounded point, I hit the space bar and it turns the point will the node will turn into a, a blue circle. If I just click on the mask line, I will not get, um, I will get a square, a squared off point. So um, you can make it be um, sur the softer rounded point when you click it by using, by clicking with the right mouse button if you find that more convenient than hitting the space bar. I try to keep the number of points that I use to the lowest number possible um, because I like the smooth lines. Um, I don't like for my line to get all over involved with unnecessary points. Points You should add as many points as you need to make your artwork look right and capture it right. Sometimes when you're working with a very intricate file with lots of edges, it does take a lot of clicks to get your mask to fit around it.
Okay, and now that I have made the mask um, fit my dog, I'm just going to go back to the regular selection tool. And when I do that, um, the background will disappear. It's still there. It's just masked. So now I want all I need to do is click on him and select the color photo stitch icon. Now notice I get the box that the file is too large and it needs to be resized. So click OK. The computer will process a few seconds and then it will give me this screen that indicates um, how the image will look once the colors uh, thread colors are applied to it. Now I and change the colors to what they were in the bitmap and I can do that very easily by clicking the managing matching method icon and then choose add bitmap colors. Now, if I want to play around with adding a few more colors to give a little bit more separation on my image, I can do that. My specific goal here was to keep the tongue at pink, but I did add a few colors and um, chose to stick with 11 colors. After settling on 11 colors, I click Apply and let the uh, computer reprocess and then I can see what my little dog looks like in stitches. Next, I want to be sure and save my work and then I can export a machine file um, and stitch him out. And here's what my little dog looks like stitched out. I um, just used uh, colors that I already had. I did use a 30 weight cotton so I would get better coverage and I think he looks good. He stitched out on a, kind of a cafe latte color um, Kona cotton and the back backing that I used was fusible fleece. So I would be sure that I had a Duff stabilizer, and if I want, I can use this piece of fabric to make a pin cushion or a decorative pillow or something like that. This concludes um, the tutorial on how to clip the background out of a color photo stitch and um, some tips on how to make your photograph look its best for digitizing. Um, please leave your comments at the on YouTube at the bottom of this screen and or email me at the email address on the screen. Uh, sometimes I do post uh, videos to lessons so if you have a topic um, that you'd like covered just let me know and I will be happy to do that as long as I think I know enough about it to um, be of help. Um, so let me hear from you and thanks for tuning in.